All right, so today I want to uh, share our ideas on making a very simple um, two-layer no-sew shirt or a three-layer with very simple sewing. And the reason for this, um, to make this mask, is that there have been recommendations out where you can use a t-shirt, and t-shirts are great, but the only problem is they're not a particularly tight weave. You can see through that fabric, and if you can see through the fabric, it means you're not getting as much protection. I'd seen some videos on making a one layer t-shirt and uh, kind of use those for inspiration. So we're just starting with a uh, old leftover t-shirt. Our logo's changed. This is my little local company up here in the mountains of Colorado. Um, ideally 100% cotton. And so we're gonna start by making two cuts. All you need is the t-shirt and the scissors. First one is gonna be starting just underneath the sleeve, we're just going to make a cut across the shirt. The other nice thing about these is there's a relatively straight line I can follow. I'm not a uh, strong arts and crafts person, so that's done. And now the second cut we're going to run across the top, and we can actually use the fact that the front collar is lower than the back to our advantage to provide improved um, comfort and a better seal across the nose. So we're going to start cutting just over the top of the sleeve and we're going to run across and we're leaving part of that lower collar and we'll finish up that cut so there's our start now we're going to cut out the bands to tie behind the head and so all we're going to do is we're going to cut in just under the top and bottom of each sleeve and you can make the depth of this cut, how far in you go, to match the size of your head. I want a fairly wide mass because I have a full beard. And so I want full coverage and have it wrapped fairly far around the side of my head. So there's one side. And here's my assistant, who's just been fascinated by all the cut cloth and climbing into the shirts that we're using and everything else. I'm making multiples of these. So, at a very first order, we have a two-ply mask. Very simple, takes no time whatsoever. And as you can see, much less light coming through and uh, so therefore better protection. However, after looking at this, um, I'm a retired scientist and I like to think about things I realized with some very simple sewing, I could even improve on it. And so what I'm doing is I have needle and thread. I've just made a long fabric loop or a thread loop here, tied it off at the back end. You want the thread to be um, roughly as wide as the shirt, including the sleeves, it makes it easier. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll a fold over towards the collar side. And I'm just going to start sewing through it. So to tie off at the back end, I just put my needle through the thread. You don't want to tie it too tight. You want to leave it fairly loose. So now I'm gonna fold back over again and I'm not gonna show you the entire sewing process. Um, my sewing will win no awards. Um, it's make do sewing, not uh, finesse sewing. But for this purpose, we're just worried about protecting ourselves. So you can see I'm just spacing across and uh, sewing through that fold. So I'll stop there, and the biggest thing is that as you get out here towards the center, you want to pull this fabric down and sew along the collar. And what that does is it provides a little bit of an indent, and this provides a much better fit over your nose and also uses the strength of that collar to help make a tighter fit. So basically, we'll keep sewing across here, and then we'll do another set of threads across the bottom. Now I'm going to switch and show one here that's almost done. You can see the sewing across the top. There's where the collar is. 
right there. And then just to finish off on both ends, um, I have a needle, I just leave a loop, I pull the thread through, and I'm gonna cut it off with the scissors. This is much easier if you don't have big, fat, chunky fingers like I do. And so one piece of thread goes through the loop, the other one goes over, we just pull it down tight. This one's not very good, but this is just a secondary one anyways. Um, you can finesse it to get that loop to tie in, and then we just tie a knot to finish it off and cut the excess thread off. All right, so now we've finished up the uh, t-shirt portion. Now I'm using a dress shirt. You can see it has a much tighter weave. You can't see through it. You can also use a uh, dish towel or a napkin. Those are other good weaves. And so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut out a rectangle that's approximately the size of the shirt or of the uh, mask, I should say. So this is our mask. You can either cut it directly or I'm just gonna put a couple dots does not have to be exact. Where those are. And we'll just cut out our approximate rectangle of cloth. And so this layer, because it's a much finer weave, will provide better protection against smaller materials getting through. So now we just take this, we slip it in the pocket. And come in from the other side. And pull it through. I'm just grabbing the two top corners pulling the shirt even then I'm going to grab the two bottom corners as well and pull that piece of dress shirt even on the inside Get everything approximately aligned so there's our collar we want that to face in to go over our nose and provide that nice tight fit. We have our top strap. Our bottom strap. And we're done. As I said, you can cut this portion of the mast to come right in here. You can make the straps longer if you have a smaller head than I do. Um, and the other thing to remember, it's very important, is only wear this out once and then put it in the wash because when you come in, there's the chance that you've got contamination on the surface. If you start handling it, you're just going to spread the contamination around. But these are so quick and easy to make. Um, you can make multiples uh, and you should always have one around. So thank you very much. I hope this helps. Um, and remember, be safe so we can all stay healthy. Thanks.